So is it really all about geography or does race or different physical or cultural typology play a role in exacerbating mountain conflict? Um, for example, you speak of the Maya of Mexico, Sierra Madre, who've always been treated as lesser by the Spanish conquistadores and their descendants. Yeah. Can we go back to Mexico with the, uh, the Zapatistas? Yeah, I mean, obviously, history and culture play a role. But, you know, one reason why, oh, yeah, these guys. Um, and back with, there's a, a girl, a 14-year-old girl with, uh, yeah, her. Yeah, she's, um, they, they have, what, what, what's happened with the Zapatistas is they've withdrawn into what they call caracoles, which are snails. And um, there's always a blue cattle gate, and it's always manned by a 14-year-old girl for some reason. Um, but yeah, the ECLN, that's the Spanish acronym for the Zapatista Liberation Movement. But the, the thing about them is that, you know, one reason why a lot of populations went to the mountains was to get away. Like, in, in, you'll find that a lot in Latin America, that indigenous groups went higher and higher up to get away from the Spaniards, you know, the, the colonizers, and you find that a lot in Southeast Asia too. So, you know, these folks went higher and, or deeper into the forest to get away from the Spaniards. Um, wait, what was the question again? You know, the differences in typology and in race also were factors besides oh, geography. Yeah. Yeah, and usually, oftentimes in mountains, it's indigenous people, and they're usually the lowest of, on the totem pole of social systems. You know, they're usually the people who are most exploited. Um, and it's a hard life there. Yeah. You no, no, no. I, I mean, obviously, culture plays a role. Yeah, obviously. And yeah. history. But generally, historically, mountain people do not hold power. You know, usually the lowland elite is usually, like in Albania, you know, the, the folks in the north are not in the elite. It's, it's more the, the southerners. You know, there's those two ethnic groups, and so the ethnic group that's south has been holding on to, to power pretty much since, um, since the end of communism. Right, that's a good point. Yeah, because if you're up in the mountains, you don't have any power, you don't even have like electricity and water, so you're, or plumbing, or schools, or clinics, and, and like you're cut off from the centers of power. There are very few countries that have highland capitals, very few. You know, there's Colombia, there's Mexico, there's Kenya, kind of. Great point. But there are very few countries, or, or well, Bolivia, but, or Switzerland, but yeah, we're, it kind of stops there. Yeah.